One of Colorado's largest hospital systems says transplant recipients must be vaccinated. We learned that by chance today when an unvaccinated patient who needs a kidney decided to go public about UC Health's policy. The hospital system says that keeping people from dying unnecessarily is kind of the point. Here's Steve Sager. I, I found myself, I think, uh, trying to understand where the Hippocratic Oath comes in to play here about do no harm. Leilani Lutali knows her time is limited. The doctors at University Hospital have told her with stage five renal failure, she needs a kidney transplant to live. Her friend Jamie offered up her kidney. Then they learned of another time limit. And I'm being coerced into making a decision that is one I'm not comfortable making right now in order to live. UC Health sent Leilani a letter last week saying if she didn't get the COVID-19 vaccine in the next 30 days, she'd be removed from the transplant list. I mean, I felt like the, the vaccine is still new enough. There are too many questions that I'm still left with that haven't been answered. Jamie, who opposes the vaccine because of its use of the fetal cell line in development, says she was told if she didn't get the shot, she couldn't be a donor. I knew what it meant for her to have this kidney. And I said, if I'm the one and I can't give her my kidney, essentially I'm also now condemning my friend to death, you know, because I can't get the vaccine. UC Health told us today in almost all situations, transplant recipients are required to be vaccinated for COVID, a decision the hospital system made a few weeks ago. A spokesman for the hospital pointed to studies showing a higher risk of death for transplant recipients who catch COVID ranging from 25 to 33 percent. The hospital system also says it requires recipients to show proof of other vaccines, like for MMR and hepatitis B. And in some cases, it asks patients to stop drinking or smoking to ensure an organ takes. Leilani told us today she isn't convinced on the vaccine, and she started to search for hospitals out of state who'd be willing to take a chance on her. I don't want this to be hinged on my, my freedom of choice being taken away from me, and that's what I feel is happening here.